I think it's um, actually really disingenuous of the government to take credit for this. Um, it's really driven by global factors. Um, firstly, we knew that the um, we knew that inflation rate would drop. The Bank of England forecasted this already, even before um, the government made their pledge to reduce inflation. And we haven't seen the policies um, from the government that, that really back this up. So um, we know that really the, the root of the fall in inflation um, this month is down to wholesale gas prices falling and the lower off-gem cap, which is down by 7%, but also food prices um, starting to slow globally. And that's really what has dented um, inflation. And it's worth noting that um, prices are still rising, but just at a lower rate. So What's really important here is that working families, poorer households are still facing a really deep cost of living crisis that the government is failing to address. Is it worth remembering as as well that the Bank of England's target is 2%? Yes, so we're still much higher than the Bank of England's target, that is true. But it's worth noting there that the Bank of England's approach itself hasn't been very helpful. It is um, it had the economy flatlining. It has us on a sort of precipice of a, a recession all the time. We've seen lots of um, increase in insolvencies across businesses, um, mortgages going into arrears, mm-hmm. landlords going into arrears, but also renters really facing the sharp end of this crisis because of much, much higher interest rates. And that really hasn't been um, the key to solving high inflation that we're facing at the moment, which is a global phenomenon. And the Bank of England's um, kept interest rates currently at 5.25%. It's a 15-year high. There is no indication that that rate is going to go down any time soon, is there? Not really. I think um, what we saw with the data today is core inflation, which which strips out the volatile prices like energy and food prices, was still sticky and has remained high. So one measure of that is it's down to six, um, 5.7%. Another measure of um, core inflation, which is services inflation, is only down to 6.6%. Um, 6.6% sorry. Mm. So there is, um, uh, it's really in the balance what the Bank of England would do. What we do know is that interest rate hikes have not helped solve this crisis, which is supply-led and to do with global factors. And the Bank of England should be expanding its toolkit on how to address this and working closely with government to come up with the policy solutions that can really address um, the cost of living crisis.